Greetings and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, home of the Hotpoint 9530A, Miele W562 washing machines and the greatest groups of the 1960s, the Supremes and the Beach Boys. Okay guys, this is a very, very special video. Um, today is four, the 14th of September 2017, Thursday of course. This marks exactly one year to this day that I got this lovely washing machine the Hotpoint 9530A Electronic 1000 Plus manufactured and introduced in April 1986 making it one of the very first mod models of the Proud Door Next Generation models of the 95 series um, forever, a lot of people know how I found this machine it was in the, the back of a British Heart Foundation I went in to throw some boxes away and I saw it there and I was like I'm having that and a lot of people know it's not ex exactly the model that I truly wanted. I would have wanted a new a new generation. Um, it's not exactly that I'm not going to have one. It's just it's not the one I found. But I got it for free. It was going to be scrapped. Everyone knows what happened with the door, but it's been so far replaced with an original gloss door. Now this is a, I said a video to mark one year with it. Um, so excuse me, I got a. Diana Ross fan page message. Oh my god, I'm being sent loads of pictures. Um, now, there's a lot of people who figured out in the Dyson DC01 distill video, there has been a change. There are some followers on Instagram who will know this, what happened as well. So, the, the special update I have swapped the washing machine's position around because, um, well, I wanted to do this, as everyone knows, my mum's in Thailand right now, so I thought I would do it before she gets back. She's aware that I've done this and she seems happy about it, and I'm happy about the layout too. Because originally the hot point sat there, Mila sat here. <clears throat> this means that the hot point doesn't have to use two long hoses. <clears throat> it can use the hot hose that has to be a bit longer, but the cold hose is the original one that came with the machine. Hence it fills faster. I also have eliminated the long extension hose, which is now being used for the Mila goes behind the hot point, connects to the sink. Fortunately, the only way this can hook here because the council have made our sinks too wide for it to hook over. If, if this was either this bit more here or it was hooked back a bit, it literally could just hook over and all I would do is maybe just weigh it down with a bit of tape or something. So unfortunately, duct tape is what holds it in. It's holding in very well. It hasn't done a boil wash yet though. Today will be the first. Um, one thing though it does, I'm telling you what I love, we have the original hot point chug back when it pumps. The chug, chug, It does that rather than that growl you used to hear from the pump and the side panel moving. Um, I will warn you though, however, when it gets to 1000 RPM, because the pipe is stuck against the machine, when it vibrates, it makes a very, like, a terrible knocking sound. Like a, very, like a sort of, like a jackhammer sort of sound. So it's, it gets very, very loud. Um, but it seems to fill fast. It actually empties a lot faster as well and the Miele actually is a hell of a lot more quieter over here it seems to be very stable and so it's got my MacBook on top um, but yeah it seems fine the hot point tends to walk sometimes from that spot it, I think it's being pushed by the hoses but oh well hot point doesn't fit fully under but it's nice because the machines you know I'm, I'm happy about this so I can see all sides of the hot point so when you walk in it's the main focal point of the, of the kitchen um, you know, hot point there. It's, I don't have to, it's not pushed because the meter obviously sticks out more. The hot point used to be stuck behind it, so you couldn't really see it. Now, um, before I continue and I do our wash, we're going to be doing a load of towels, as always. We love doing towels in this hot point and one of mum's sheets, but we're going to be washing it with Tide <coughs> detergent that I brought from Texas, as well as some. Um, oh, I've forgotten what that. I've forgotten what the name of that. Um, I think it's perfect parfumel or something, I can't remember what it's called, uh, conditioner, so we're going to be doing some with American style, because um, both machines are done OMO, so I'm going to do the Tide and the Aerial that I got. Um, now, this machine, a lot of people like know that it was sort of a childhood machine. Actually, when I talk about the machines I want to take before I go to America, the 9530 was actually the model that I wanted from the April 1986 range, it was the core models, because the other one I want is the next digit up, the 9531 Electronic 1000 Super. It's essentially this, but with a spin slider. Um, no one has one as far as I know. 
um, but that machine was a Curry's exclusive model. I've got a thing for the exclusives, as you know from the washing videos at the laundry centre. Um, a lady who, an old lady, an elderly lady who lived not next door, but the house afterwards, the second door down, she had something of the April 1986 range. It was a four button prowl door model. So it was either a 9530 or a 9520 electronic 800 Deluxe. The only difference is though, mine is a 9530A, hers was a 9530W, which is the brown and white model. But so the, the only thing I remember about it was the trim had been cut, it had been broken to about there. And she, she told me she used to call it a spin dryer, I don't know why. <laughs> so when I was little, that's what I used to think spin dryers looked like. But, um, but she told me she used to kick it when it didn't work. But it was the first prowl door model that I'd actually ever seen really, because I'd only known the flush door models which my family owned, a 9526 and a 9516 or 17. And I'd seen a couple, as, uh, someone in this uh, block, block where I live had a 9536 in polar white. But anyway, I'm going to, enough rambling on now. So I'm, I'm glad I've saved a 9530 and I'm, I'm just happy. In the whole year it's been in this house, it's been through more use than the Mila has and it's never ever given up. The only thing I've had to replace was the solenoid valve, the door, well obviously talking about parts mechanically, the carbon brushes and the, the solenoid valve, but that's it. I've never had to service anything else, um, aside from adjust the belt tension and the tachometer, but that's not a fault with the machine. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get on with this, and then I'll let you all enjoy this. Um, and I will be doing a request, a requested video by Samsung Airwash Lover in the next video you'll see of this machine. So without further ado, uh, let's crack on with it. Guys, I thought I'd put on the light, the lamp, and we'll get a bit more better colour. Okay, so the conditioner is actually called Suavitel, and I picked it up from the Family Dollar Store that we I passed in the Denton vlog. Uh, I brought it on my last day. This was brought from, I can't remember what it was, the place, but it was just around the corner from the hotel. So it's Tide and it's HE, turbo. So it's made for, it's actually made for all machines. Oh, hang on. It's written in Spanish for some reason. Maybe, well, okay, well, that's interesting, I've not seen that. Let's see if it contains a scoop. Oh God, it's making a mess all over the floor. Just like it did, let me put it in this towel. And then I can just catch that and throw it in the machine. Hang on, let me pan the camera down so you can see. <clears throat> Ready? Ah, oh, we don't get a scoop in there. No. Oh, hang on. There's something here. Do we? Oh. Yes, we do. Oh, wow. That's a nice, oh. I like that little, oh, it's a big scoop. A bit power, a bit blocked. Let me just sniff it. Oh, wow. That is lovely. This is field flowers condition. I want to smell that and see what that's like. Oh man, that is strong. That is going to be such a nice smell. Especially in boil wash, it's going to smell like we're in America. Right, so let's get loading. Oh, I forgot to also say guys, you're going to notice something when we do videos of the Miele. I no longer use these in the Miele because I've got an, uh, an adapter for the, the cold fill pipe the colourful hose and basically I don't have to use um, I don't have to use lime scale tablets it's something that I uh, uh, prevents lime scale like a magnet so I'm going to get one for the hot points so we no longer have to do that right it's only right I throw in this tea towel first which has got the tide on it so we're doing loads of loads of big towels and well not loads of big towels actually we've got some small towels um, too and one of mum's sheets I'm hoping it's not going to ball it all up in that sheet <laughs> And again, though it might, <clears throat> not got many, it's mainly small towels really. These were done as, these towels here, a few of the white ones. Look at this one I got from British Heart Foundation. Um, it had Sam's, it's got somewhere it's got, I don't know if you can see it there, Samsung on it. It's a nice cotton towel that is. It may look like there's a lot in there, but there isn't, trust me. That's the last big towel. <clears throat> 
Good, we're doing a reasonably sized towel wash, not for the first time everything fits in. fibre there of a towel. Funny to think, I mean although I've owned it for one year we actually energised the machine on the 14th of October exactly one month later but it's been in this household for one year. That's the way that it shows off the, uh, the, the gloss ready to go. I did have an issue with this drawer, I don't know if you can see it, it's had to be super glued together. When I was moving the machine out of the kitchen it caught on the door frame of the kitchen and nearly smashed the front of the drawer off. Because um, I was just checking to see how much room we'd have on the other side of the... Yeah, okay, so guys, I am going to... I'm going to be naughty in this one and I'm going to do a whole scoop. That is the most amount of detergent I've ever used in this machine. Oh, it smells so lovely, that does. 30 days of freshness. It's all written in Spanish. Oh, that, oh God, that's a bit of a, that's a very narrow top that's got. I need to spill that though. It's like a bluey colour. Oh, that'll probably stain the drawer, that will, as always, <laughs> when I rinse it out at the end. Of course, we'll do the favourite programme. Program one, 85 degrees Celsius, white cotton, no options, let's go. And then we begin taking in all that lovely time. Just gonna put all my detergent away. Wow, that smells lovely that time. I'll have to be aware of it, it doesn't stay down. I can't wait to see how the Miele handles this. Because obviously the hot point though just denatures the detergent as soon as it starts filling. That's the thing that. Because obviously it's. Uh, this will be the next detergent that we test. This aerial bag that I got. <coughs> so hot. Oh. And I got this from the laundry centre from Chris. Might put it's hand wash from South Africa, but I'm gonna put it through the meter and see how it handles it. <clears throat> oh, actually, I forgot about another one I got. Tesco uh, loves baby baby powder. I got because apparently it makes things. It says it makes it softer, so I'm gonna give that a try on some more towels later. All right, where's the swap? Oh. Bottle's leaking. Hope you all like my new intro too. So I to give it, spruce it up a bit. You might be able to see if you can see it, yeah. I'll be very interested to see how this goes. So we're not doing a, a midnight wash like the last video was. Oh, that really goes down. 
quickly that does. I suppose the water's like 55 degrees already or so. So tomorrow at British Art Foundation guys we'll be able to see what happens with the new iPhone and how it works out with doing the videos. I could film a full cycle on that to be honest and not have to use my camera. I actually might consider doing that instead. sheet coming through. <laughs> Guarantee it's going to get balled up, all the towels are going to get balled up inside that. Oh, that's nice seeing those suds. Has the hot point finally met a match? We're definitely going to get quite a good suds lot with this. Oh, we've already advanced into the heating. No, it's not heating. Is it? The suspension's really under stress. It really is stressing the suspension, you can hear it. Yes, it looks like we've got a sudsy wash, although it'll probably kill it off by 85 though. Still though, 40 degree wash is good. And springs are twanging. Well, catch on the heating stage. So we're currently heating to 85 or about 70 degrees, well 75 I'd say. <clears throat> Obviously during the heating pro process and the short tumbles, uh, not many suds form, but <clears throat> there's a nice layer of suds as opposed to the water going completely clear. So. It's quite nice to see. I don't see any steam coming out the drawer yet, but it probably will do soon. <clears throat> Spring, springs definitely love to go. When, um, when it's getting hot. <laughs> My friend Luke, because uh, I just put on post uh, saying that I've owned the Hot Point 9530 for one year. He said he remembers when I called him having a breakdown about it. 
Because I, I turned on the machine and I was like, I'm going to put it on fast then. And I said, my meter's making a very unusual sound. I pulled the time on that and the machine went into spinning. I'm like, what have you got there? I was like, it was a hot point. going slightly blue and I think it, it's that bath sheet doing it. Heating process, is there any... Oh yes, there is definitely condensation coming off that so it is soon to start steaming the kitchen. Yeah, it will be very soon, don't worry. You can feel the drawer getting a bit humid though. Up when it's at 85. Okay, we have reached 85 degrees Celsius. Back to regular hot and now. Let's probably get the suds going. There's still room for it all to tumble, that's so good as well. Must do a towel wash in the meal of them so we can get to suds lock again because I'm done with never ages. Mm -hmm. I've heard that sound, um, <clears throat> you know, day in, day out with this machine, but <clears throat> I never get bored of that motor. I never get bored. You know, I've seen this. I've seen this program. You know, program one and program two. I see every day of the week. You know, I'm doing my workloads and other things. You know, I never get bored of it. It's just, it's just it never, it never bore, never bores me. This machine. It's always, always something fun about it. Not just, not just, you know, the the fact it doesn't have an out of balance sensor. You know, it's you know, it gets, gets pretty violent on spin. I mean, you you guys haven't actually. This machine's very well behaved on camera. Like you've seen a couple of unbalanced spins that's moved around, moved about a bit. But like, what I've witnessed on it from this machine a few times, because I've done towel washes obviously that I haven't filmed, because um, I don't do many videos of this machine. And like, I've had some pretty scary like spins especially in the spot it's in now I haven't had one yet where it's done anything but the only thing where it's sitting now there's very limited space between it and that um, or even this as well like there's room for it to hit this this wood this wooden panel has been hit um, out by the machine before or when I've moved the meter well, you can just see it's just it's an absolute pleasure this machine is though, and it really does wash well. Most times it has sometimes washed better than the Miele has, in shorter amount of time. Yeah, good, I think we're getting the suds back now. Program 2 we've advanced to. Probably soon be a heat retaining stage. We've reached the end of the main wash. That's going to district drain. Nice buzz. Look at the water. Blue. That's that towel. Bath she doing it. Oh, she's buzzing. Balance that distribute.
still on balance actually, the distributor. Normally the first distributor is. Yes, got a constant buzz for once. You won't notice it now, but it does chug. It's just at the moment, I think there's a lot of water in the machine. It's not. Or maybe I don't know. Yeah. First rinse. Can't wait for the spin. I wonder what the first spin's gonna bring. <laughs> okay, we're at half load level now. Whoa. There's condensation on the draw from where it's. Oh, got a bit of air in the sheet there. I think we're going to have a really big suds lock. I reckon it'll be the next tumble, actually. They'll be unbalanced, though. Oh, no, there's a hair, though. Here we go. Uh oh. First intermediate spin. Oh, bloody hell. We're buzzing again, I like that. Hopefully it will chunk. The towels are balling up though. That water, oh, that water is still at 60 degrees. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, it's unbalanced. It looks a bit, yeah, that's unbalanced. That's gonna move, that's gonna move. Oh. Nice! What a nice sod lot we got! And I'm just me filming it on my Oh, American detergents always do the best sazlocks. Wow! <laughs> it's whipping it up in <laughs> Oh my goodness me! We're gonna get a second one. That was quite unbalanced actually that was. Oh my god! That was insane! Whoa! Comes the buzz.
Yeah, another song slot. Yeah, we are. Oh, I might have put a bit too much in there, actually. <laughs> The door and stop bust like that. Maybe for one. This is brilliant. That's going in the top sub slots of this year. God. Okay, we're on the second rinse now. That was an amazing sub slot. That was. Let's see what we've got. Wow. itself up that thing, that's bath sheet. Oh sugar. What's gonna happen? No, that looks like it's gonna probably walk. It's, it's balling up. Yeah, that's on balance. Hold on. can't distribute it around the drum. Lock. That's moved. Oh, that was that's brilliant. That was brilliant. That was that spin. <laughs> I 
<laughs> he's struggling to tumble. I might have to do another rinse. I, I don't think, I think we're going to have to do another rinse. There's no way I can let that rinse on. Oh my god, yeah, that's really... Coming towards the end of the third month now. Too bad actually. A bit on balance. <laughs> get a shot of it spinning from this side so you can see what actually happens. So I don't think I've ever actually filmed it. spins going to be like. Rose has got a very nice sound to it too. <coughs> Just so you can see where how the subs sort of form on one side. Let's see if it'll do it again. <laughs> I think I'll be alright to put that on on a race now, it's coming out of the pipe now. Final rinse with the suave's whole conditioner. You guys are on the final rinse now. It's actually been quite a, quite a good cycle. I've enjoyed. I've actually quite enjoyed uh, <coughs> filming all this. Not having 
this machine for one year. It's only 2118, so I guess I could do another washing it afterwards. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Can't wait for British Art Foundation tomorrow as well. <clears throat> Wonder what we'll get and what I can play with. Never wrong with that, I always know when it's going to go. Here we go, final spin. Oh, that Suavitol smells absolutely amazing from here. I wonder what our verdict's going to be. Sounds like it's trying to get on balance. Oh, it's balling up in the sheet. <clears throat> My distribution is slightly too slow then. No, I think if I try to mess the tucker meter anymore, adjust it, it might spin too fast. Here we go, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm standing back. Now it looks a bit unbalanced. Yeah, that's not balanced. Well, the drawer's opened a bit when it should. Here we go. Too bad. Yeah, okay, nice water lock. Oh, okay, it's not coming down the. Uh, it's a little bit salty, but that's fine. Yeah, it is on balance. So the, uh, I'm just going to warn you guys. Before it does the, the final shoot up, the famous hot point spin, lower your volume because it's going to make like a sound of a jackhammer. <coughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> Samsung ad wash lover, <coughs> I know me and you always debate on whether the final spin is going to be balanced or not. <coughs> In this case, unbalanced. I'm glad I got to do the tide detergent. I'm going to do a 4K video recording on my. Probably hear it knocking against the hose. Well, I won't make it down in time, I don't think. I won't. Three, two, one. Jackhammer sound at least. That's good, it's not doing it at least. Oh, I can't, I 
It's vibrating. I don't think I've ever seen the machine vibrate as violently as this. Pretty cool. All softener bubbles, bobs, bubbles around it. Nice. That was great. All stuck to the side too as well. Hey guys, we're at the end of the cycle now. Catch that before it leaks. Oh, that smells wonderful. Oh, that smells like being in America. <clears throat> all come out nice as well. All quite soft. As things have come out quite soft as well. like a lot more softer than normal. <clears throat> That was a really, really good video, you know, that, that was a really good video, I enjoyed that. Ha! You can see all the imprints of the drum, look, you can see the imprints of where it's been against the drum. Right guys, so, <clears throat> tomorrow will be my British Art Foundation video, um, and um, I don't know if we'll get a washing machine to play with, hopefully we will, but we'll have, hopefully we'll have some tests and finds, so you can hear the birdies in the background, we've got some birds. Looking after for my nanny and her, our family friend Brian. Um, but if not, I'm doing. I think I'll do another request. Sounds like I'd wash lovers request in this. So, hope you enjoyed that. And guys, I'm also uh, as well as changing my the intro that I do, not the what I say at the start. Um, the uh, you know the video intro. Um, of all the, the title intro. Um, I'm also changing my outro, I'm going to say to you guys. Um, so I was saying, I, th I don't know if I'll, I, don't, I think I should keep Keep It Supreme. I was going to say maybe Surf's Up and Go With The Flow, but I think Keep It Supreme, yeah, that's a good one. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching that. And thank you all for, you know, for staying around for one year with this machine. It's been, it's been absolutely great sharing one year of it with you guys. And it's going to, there's going to be loads more to come. Maybe even another machine. A hint, hint. Could be something coming soon. Not too sure. So, guys, thank you very, very much for watching that. And don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow. <laughs>